The depravity of this nation has caused its ills. Sin pollutes, sin permeates, sin destroys. Sin is what brought this nation down. Since this deep must be washed away, I must purge, cleanse, and destroy the wicked. The heart of the matter is that the heart is a most deceitful organ. It is not what goes in and what comes out through the drought, but what comes out of your heart. By this, I am not talking about food. Unclean food is still unclean food. What comes out comes from your heart. This displeases me greatly. Out of the heart comes envy, strife, jealousy, division, discord, hatred towards each other, rivalry, murder, and much more. All this is sin. Sin permeates, eats away the soul. Sin keeps man in bondage. How is a man free if sin dominates? Being free from sin means putting to rest what divides you from me. You say you can never be free from sinning. This is true to an extent. If you proclaim my Holy Spirit resides in you, can I not heal and make you whole? Isn't it I that helps you with these weaknesses until they no longer keep you in bonds to your sin? Did I not have to crucify my flesh daily as I walked the earth? The other side of the same coin. If you say you cannot stop sinning, is it because you do not want to stop? Yes, my children, how many of you want to stop fornicating, to stop doing your drugs? How many of you want to stop gossiping or hating family? Children, many hold on to sin because it has become their crutch. It is your identity, that identity of whom Satan says you are. If you want to look like me, you must repent. Let go and surrender yourselves to my will, not yours. If you continue to keep this crutch or crutches, you will die in your sins. Letting go means just that, letting go of it all. I can't help you if you won't let it go. If you have my spirit abiding in you, why are you holding on to the old man? Surrender is what makes one a new man. Your fleshly lusts are what caused your problems to begin with. You children hear the word obedience to my commands and see it as a noose around your necks. This ought not to be. If you say you love me, then why is obedience hard? Those who love me obey me simply because they love me. Is this too difficult for you to understand? Love and obedience go hand in hand. It brings blessings. It brings freedom and liberty from all your strongholds and chains you are still in. It is what carries you to living waters of life. I cleanse, I heal, I deliver, I break the chains, I sanctify, I redeem, and I open new doors and close off these old doors that have not served you well. I am for you, not against you. I breathe new life into every fiber of your being. Don't you want new life? This whole life only will destroy you in the end. How are you truly saved if you live as the old man and willingly sin against me? That is rebellion. You are still in enmity with me. You are choosing death over life. I am the only way, the only truth. And the only one who can give you everlasting life. Stop wallowing in sin. There is no sin that is too great that I cannot wash away. 
Most of you are in stained and filthy garments, but it is you that refuses to walk away from temptation, to resist Satan. An undefiled bride I will bring into my kingdom. You are to seek me, to seek holiness, to seek purity. If you come to me in full surrender, I will bring you to the healing spring, the healing waters of my love. You will find love you never had before. No man is capable of the love I bring to all who are willing to walk with me in full surrender. Confess to me, I already know you. Do not shy away and listen to the enemy's lie and say, he does not care. You are in too deep. You are worthless. He can't use you. He'll never love you. All blunt and nice of the enemy of your souls, Satan, do not listen to his condemnations to keep you from returning to me. I restore, I heal. There is nothing too great that I cannot handle. You are not a worthless mortal to me. You are my son, my daughter. I do care where you end up. I do love you more than you know. I know pain. I suffered pain and anguish so that you would have a way in. I gave myself up just to have you. I let my life down in exchange for yours. This is love, child. There is no greater love than this. Come home to me. Why do you think and believe that repentance daily is a burden? Do you like a shower each day to feel clean? This is what daily repentance does. A daily washing has a renew and refresh you. If you are to die tomorrow in unrepentance, I cannot bring you into my kingdom. Let me restore all the broken, fragmented pieces of your life. Let me heal the deep wounds you forgot are still within you. What more can I say? Without me, you can't make it in on your own. Come home, the hour is let. I offered myself up on the cross for you. Wouldn't you offer yourself as a living sacrifice to me in surrender? We will walk hand in hand, and you will never feel alone again. Serve me in love. This is not wax, as your first pastors have sold you a bill of goods about. You cannot earn your salvation, but it is by your deeds you are known. When I come, I bring rewards with me. Live for me. Is it not written? that without faith no man can please me. So what is faith if there is no substance? Nothing with it. Wasn't Abraham walking in faith when he offered up his son Isaac for me? Wasn't it accounted to him that he was in faith by his works, his obedience? Was he not blessed for this? Faith without works is dead faith. Just like one saved, always saved, is a first dead doctrine of demons. It is the work that matters. Change is required. A willingness to walk the walk. There is too much of a false Christianity in this nation that has kept most of you in complacency. You have been lulled to sleep, and I must wake you up or more will end up in hell. So children, redemptive judgments are needed. It is of my love and mercy I do this. Chastisement brings one to repentance. Make it easier on yourselves. Do it now and repent before all destructive blows come upon this most sinful nation. I cannot make it any simpler than this, 
so all can understand. I do not care how much money you make, your house, your car, but I care about your soul, for this is eternity. I will provide, and I do care about your needs, but it is your soul that is paramount to me. I desire none to perish. I love you with all of my heart. Will you love me with all of your heart and soul? Will you obey so I may guide you and lead you? Deny me and I will deny you before my father. Obey my father as I obeyed, even to the point of death. As I and my father are one, do you not desire to be one with us? I am love. I am salvation. I am all you need. Deny yourselves, pick up your cross and follow me. Many rewards await all who do. I am your all in all, for I am all you truly need. Will you be my friend? My love is unfailing. Yahushua.